Hey guys, Sai is here and from few days I'm using a custom kernel on my Realme 5U device. And this kernel is very good because this kernel comes with kernel SU and a touch boosting guide is also present with this kernel. And I think this is very, very interesting and useful kernel because in this kernel, a performance and battery backup is well good. So before moving on this process about how to install, how to download, how to set up. Firstly, if you are new on this channel, then don't forget to subscribe. Also join our Telegram channel where I provide important files and updates. So without any wasting of time, let's begin. Okay, I'm going to talking about the kernel, which name is Stardun kernel. Okay, so first of all, you need these four files. I will provide the link of these four files on my video description. So simply you can able to download. And if you can able to download these particular files from their Telegram channel. So I will provide the link of their Telegram channel. Simply you need to copy that link and paste on Telegram search bar and you need you can join that telegram channel and after that you are able to find that particular kernel or you if you want to find any rom as well you able to download rom also from this realme 5 update channel okay and most important thing this kernel is working on your all realme 5 devices i mean realme 5 series devices like realme 5 5i 5s so this kernel is working on your all realme 5 devices so the kernel name is start and kernel i will provide the link of this kernel channel as well so you are able to um, get a latest update from their channel so that is good okay so let's talk about the process so download this whole uh, files from my video description or you can able to download from here as well okay so here it is a version is a different type version is present so always download a top of the version that is latest i mean don't download that 10 okay so 10 version is different that 10 option is different i mean that 10 option is for android 10 rooms but if you are on android 11 to android 13 rooms that is dynamic or non-dynamic that is not a matter just you need to download kernel from this link okay and here it is a different type link i will provide on description for example kernel su manager link and uh, touch boosting helper guide i mean that is a lmd helper module as well present so this module i will give you on description now talking about the touch boosting guide here it is a touch boosting guide here it is a it is a given here so you can read it if you want to read it otherwise you can follow I will tell you how to boost the touch okay so here it is the all files are downloaded i already downloaded you need to download these all files so let's move on the process okay first of all boot our device on recovery mode okay i am already boot my device on recovery mode and first of all we need to take some important steps like we need to uh, wipe this two partitions like cache and delvic cache if you want to avoid it you are good avoid it no problem okay but before move on the process you need to take backup of your boot and dtbo so don't forget to taking backup of dtbo and boot and after taking the backup of dtbo and boot you just once wipe the delvic and cache partition as you can see i already wiped it after that go on install section and simply flash the latest kernel of starting kernel here it is untick all the boxes just simply swipe it so as we can see the kernel is flashing okay after successfully flashing kernel we need to wipe once if you want to wipe this catch so uh, good to go don't worry if you avoid it then you can avoid it no problem so after uh, click on reboot it will take some time so just wait it okay device is started i mean device is booted successfully uh, let's check the kernel so here it is android 13 rom here it, as we can see uh, start and kernel is installed successfully okay now what we need to do first of all we need to install kernel su apk and franco kernel manager apk okay so install this both applications i already installed this both applications okay so then go on 
kernel su i mean simply open the kernel su apk okay and one important point if you are already rooted with magisk so first of all you need to unroot your magisk if you are um, um if you are encrypted user but note one point if you are a decrypted user so you 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 are flashing a dfe file which is come with magisk in build so i am i am a decrypted user and i flash dfe file which is comes with uh magisk so i am not able to uninstall this magisk if you i if i am uninstall this magisk then my device going to recovery and go on boot loop so i am i don't want to my want to go my device on boot loop so i am going to avoid this magisk uninstallation okay because i am a decrypted user that's why i am going to tell you okay if you are encrypted user uh, so don't worry you can able to remove the magisk don't worry okay so as we can see here it is as we can see my phone is not encrypted so that's why i told you i am not able to remove magisk because i installed a dfe file which comes with uh, inbuilt magisk okay so as we can see we are installed the latest kernel start and kernel and which is comes with uh kernel su as we can see here it is you you need to just uh, give the root permission to this franco kernel manager apk okay i already give it okay and again you need to open this kernel uh franco kernel manager so as we can see but before moving the boosting steps first of all you need to install one uh, module which is lmkd module so as we can see i will show you here it is that lmkd module and here it is as we can see on kernel su the module are disable uh, disable because it is conflict with magisk so i already told uh, told you my device is rooted with magisk and if your device is rooted with magisk you are not able to use i mean you can't able to install a modules on kernel su so first of all you need to remove the magisk after that you are good to go to flash modules from kernel su but i am already rooted with magisk and i am not removing magisk because i am decrypted user so i am simply uh, install this lmkd module on my through the magisk okay so i already if you decrypted user then flash that lmkd module through magisk okay now talking about next step how to boost how to touch boost simply click on cpu and go down okay scroll down click on cpu input boost and as we can see here it is the option is present so enable this option but before enabling this option first of all we need to set the touch boosting so i will set this brightness because it's not appears properly okay okay now it is appearing properly so if you want to boost your touch response say, then simply uh, set the value is 2500 okay 2500 means 2.5 seconds touch boosting is present in this value okay you can set uh, if you want to set touch boost for 1 second you can set 1000 for 2 second 2000 but i am set it fully uh, 2500 okay after setting this just you need to enable that option as we can see here it is 2500 and option is i enabled already okay now reboot your device once after that you you can good to go to use this kernel with high touch response with a good performance with a good battery backup but note one point uh if you are boosting your touch with highly like that 2.5 is for 2.5 seconds so we are set 2500 so if you using if you are playing games on very heated areas then your device is going to very hot so note this point so play after boosting your touch response just play on under the fan or ac so it will good for your device because it is not going to overheat so this is the one note note this point so here it is the process of installing kernel set up the kernel su and after that you can how to set uh, i i mean how to boost your device so this is all thing so now talking about the performance what type of performance this kernel gives you so talking about this is a stock kernel of project elixir which is dynamic uh, rom and this is other kernel miau kernel as we can see it is score and this is a startons kernel score as we can see 248 single core multi core 851 
okay uh, multi core is 851 but uh, ignore this because the touch response of this kernel is very good because we are boosted touch response with the help of root and fkm i mean franco kernel manager and uh, battery backup is also good a uh, 12 hours of battery backup is given is give this kernel is good a 12 hours battery backup so it is also good for battery backup as well as a performance so i think this is good kernel so try this kernel once after that comment it how this kernel is for you okay so if you like this video then please like and share this video see you in the next video love you guys goodbye take care and one important point i will give all the links on my video description just download your required files follow that links bye bye goodbye take care